So in iOS 11, screenshots are getting a big upgrade. And let me show you and demonstrate what I mean by this. So to start off, I simply initiate the screenshot by pressing the power button and the home button at the same time. And you can see that it flashes and appears in the left-hand corner. From this, I can simply tap the screenshot and a markup view opens. What can I do from this? First off, you have the ability to crop as I'm doing here. Let's say we wanna just crop these icons right here. Then let's say we wanna do markup. We can go to the pin, we can choose a color, let's say green, and then we can scribble on top of this. We also have the highlighter, we can choose another color, let's choose red, and we'll paint TV red. We have the pencil, and we can use any color with the pencil, I chose white for right now. Then we have the eraser, we can erase what we just did, and it erases large chunks, unlike how it works in notes, where it only erases a slight piece, it seems to erase the whole line here. Then there's a selection tool, let me demonstrate this, let me draw some marks. Then I can use the lasso tool to select these marks and you can see that the whole thing has been selected and I can cut, copy, or delete. And if I delete, it'll delete the entire thing. When I click the plus icon, I can add text similar to the effects that have been available in preview for a long time and I can change that. I can also add a signature and I can add a magnifier. By adding a magnifier, I have the ability to change how much magnification is there and what the radius of the magnification is, as well as move the magnifier around the image. I also have shape effects where I can use arrows, I can use boxes, I can use text bubbles, and I can change the color of these by changing the color on the color palette. I also have the ability to change whether it's fully filled in, whether it's a thin border, a thicker border, or the thickest border available. Once I've finished, I can either revert back and forward, or I can export, and I can export using the UI Activity View Controller, also known as the Share Sheet, or I can click Done, and when I click Done, I can either save it to Photos, or I can delete the screenshot. This concludes the demonstration of the new screenshot features available in iOS 11.